click subscribe to receive notifications from the latest videos. Thank you. Crossroads tells Christmas story through eyes of Mary. A teenage girl is told she is with child. Her response? How will this be, since I am a virgin? You're probably familiar with this story, the birth of Jesus. It's what the season of Christmas is about, after all. But have you ever stopped to ponder what it would have been like for Mary when she learns she will give birth to Jesus? Crossroads Community Church aims to illustrate that with its five identical Christmas services. The program tells the story of Jesus' birth through the eyes of Mary with live actors and narration. Mary is played by Abby Perez, a freshman at Ontario High School. She admitted it was a bit intimidating portraying such a prominent figure in the Bible. However, it helped her better understand and appreciate Mary's journey. It opened my eyes to her point of view, she said. Jocelyn Nicholas, student ministry coordination and assistant worship leader, helps set the scene as narrator. Nicholas said she's been studying the person of Mary for the past year, gleaning new and interesting information she didn't previously realize. When it came time for brainstorming the church's Christmas service, she shared the idea of telling the Christmas story through Mary's perspective. When you put yourself in her shoes, it really highlights how big of a step of obedience it would have been, but also how perfect it was that God came in the way that he did, and how humble of an entrance he made, she said. That angle, she said, offers an intimate and relatable look at the story. Nicholas said ultimately the church's goal is to present the gospel in a way that is going to meet people where they're at. In his sermon, lead pastor Dave Vance said, Mary teaches us that all of us are nobodies, telling everybody about somebody who can save anybody. He said though Mary's circumstances and experience differ from ours, her journey is very similar. What Mary wrestled with in the person of Jesus is the same wrestling match that you and I have at the season of Christmas as we ponder the Savior of the world, the King of the universe, he said. There are three profound observations that can be made from Mary's life, he said, one being that she wasn't afraid to ask questions. Luke 1 30 34 says, And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How will this be, since I am a virgin? Vance highlighted Mary's response and said, Christmas is a time for you and I to ask the difficult questions, to ask the questions that we wonder about the story that we celebrate. Perhaps you're faced with a difficult situation and wondering why. Vance advised to ask God. When Mary asked, How will this be? God responds, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Luke 1 35 37 Mary then responds in faith, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. Luke 1:38. This leads to a second observation: Mary's faithfulness. If a teenage, pregnant, unwed girl can learn to put her faith in an unexpected plan of a mighty God, there is hope for every one of us tonight, Vance said. A third observation to be made is Mary's wonder and awe at the mercy of God. See Luke 1:46-50. She doesn't see herself just as an immaculate conception but as in need of a savior, Vance said. He encouraged us to consider, are we filled with wonder at the mercy of God? Christmas at Crossroads continues tonight with two services at 5 and 7 p.m.
Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video interesting please like and share to many friends know. Do you have any questions please comment below to let everyone know. And do not forget to click on the subscribe button to receive notifications from the latest videos. Goodbye and see you again.